The Canadian Premier League launched this season with seven teams. And, well, that was a decent amount for a country that really did not have a huge soccer following. We all know that for this league to succeed going on to the future and to grow Canada into a major soccer powerhouse, seven teams will not be enough. And one topic that's been talked about in the CPL since this league was created is that of expansion. Now, this league, we know that they're going to expand. We know that they wanted to start with more than seven teams. They want eight teams to start. Thanks, Ottawa. But we know that they want more teams. They want to potentially have as many as 10 teams by next year. I don't know if that's going to happen. But what I am going to tell you is where I think the Canadian Premier League has the best chances of expanding to. So first off, for the context of this video, I think it's important for me to explain how I believe the Canadian Premier League should work once expansion is all said and done. I believe that there should be a 14 team top flight, double what there is now, and then a second flight with, I don't know, maybe another 14 teams, possibly more, and they'll have promotion relegation of the top two teams from the second tier league and the bottom two teams of the Canadian Premier League, swapping back and forth each year. I believe that makes sense. So for that context, I'm going to list off seven cities I think the Canadian Premier League should expand to, and then one extra city that I think would be a prime example of a second division team starting zone. So here are my seven places for Canadian Premier League expansion plus one listed in approximate order of how important I think it is that the Canadian Premier League expand there. First off, we have Quebec City. Quebec City has a population of around 532,000 people, yet they do not have a single professional sports team. They are a lot like Halifax was before this year. They have a pretty successful QMJHL team in the Quebec Ramparts, but no professional teams whatsoever. Again, a lot like Halifax, except that their population is over 100,000 more people than Halifax. So putting a Canadian Premier League team in Quebec City, you now have a very large, major Canadian city that starved for a professional sports team to call their own, and that would be just incredibly successful. Look, just looking at Halifax and how Halifax has come out and supported the Wanderers and made them the highest attended Canadian Premier League team that's not affiliated with a CFL team and doesn't play in a CFL stadium. Just that is exactly the model that a Quebec City team would follow. Again, no CFL stadium, so they'd probably have to play in their own unique soccer stadium, probably with a capacity of under 10,000, and they would probably be able to sell it out every game because, again, Quebec City is just so big, it's absolutely mind-boggling that they do not have a professional team, and the Canadian Premier League should know that and try to do everything they can to expand into that market and be the first professional team to fill that void. The second city, Ottawa. Ottawa is a very, very interesting one, and it's probably the most interesting situation on this list because Ottawa already has a professional soccer team, the Ottawa Fury, who currently play in the USL, which is, of course, in American League in the second division of American soccer. Now, the CFL owners going into this first season wanted the Ottawa Fury to move to the Canadian Premier League and wanted the Ottawa Fury to be the eighth Canadian Premier League team so you can have a nice even number going into the inaugural season and the Ottawa Fury ownership group just said no and there was a whole big kerfuffle, CONCACAF and FIFA were involved, there was potential talks of the Fury being forced to move into the Canadian Premier League because that is a league in their own country on about the same level as their play but in the end, the Fury were able to stay in USL. Now, that does not mean that in the future, the Fury will not move into the Canadian Premier League, given that they see it is successful. I understand the Fury owners having an established team that's been playing in Ottawa for a few years, in the USL for a few years, not wanting to jump ship on something they know is stable into a brand new Canadian Premier League that might fail. But giving the Canadian Premier League a few years to prove that it can be survivable and successful, the Fury ownership group may want to move into the Canadian Premier League for cheaper and closer travel, not having to go to the States every two seconds basically, and not having every single opposing team that you play being in a completely different country. Also, the Fury averaged about 4,000 people a game, which would put them 
right in the middle of Canadian Premier League attendance, and you could probably expect that to get a little bit of a boost once they move into the Canadian Premier League. Moving into the Canadian Premier League, the ability to play teams like Calgary or Halifax or Hamilton or York, just places that are more well-known to the Ottawa public is just a bigger grab and a better grab of attention for the casual fans than playing like Bethlehem or Hartford where people just don't really care and it's kind of like random American city number two. <laughs> and if there's one thing that the Fury have shown and that Ottawa as a city has shown is Ottawa has a population of about a million people and the Fury are surviving there. So obviously a soccer team can survive in Ottawa. So I believe that the Canadian Premier League will 100% expand to Ottawa at some point within the next several years. The question is whether or not that expansion team will be the Fury or something completely different. The third city that I think the Canadian Premier League should expand to is Regina. Regina is the capital of Saskatchewan and they currently have a professional team in the Saskatchewan Rough Riders of the CFL. And there's one thing you know about Regina, it's that they love their Rough Riders. The benefit of that is if the CFL ownership group decides that they want into the Canadian Premier League, like what's happened in Hamilton and Winnipeg, is you now have a Canadian Premier League team playing in a CFL stadium, which again is proven to be quite effective as Hamilton and Winnipeg, will they come nowhere close to selling out their respective stadiums, have some of the highest attendances in the Canadian Premier League, and you also have a stadium that already exists and can more than support the fans that will come out to this league, and also supports expansion of the team and the team growing and creating a bigger fan base without having to build a bigger stadium or even renovate the stadium that you're currently in. So for Regina, it just makes sense if their CFL ownership group decides that they want a Canadian Premier League team. Also, Regina has a population of around 215,000, so while not huge, that's more than enough to support a team that plays in a league that's looking for an average attendance of about 6,000 people per game. And if they don't play on days where the Rough Riders play, which if they are owned by the same group as the Rough Riders, they definitely will not, then they kind of will be the hottest ticket in Regina on the days that they do play, which will help attendance and help that team survive. For the fourth city on my list, we're staying in Saskatchewan with Saskatoon. Saskatoon is a population of 246,000 people, so it's bigger than Regina, and it does not have a CFL team. So in terms of a summer sport, a Canadian Premier League team there would be the biggest billing. Unlike Quebec or Halifax, however, Saskatoon actually does have a professional sports team in the National Lacrosse League, and their lacrosse team averages over 14,000 fans per game. So if a lacrosse team in Saskatchewan can average 14,000 people a game, that gives me so much confidence in what a soccer team could do there. So that shows me that, like Halifax, Saskatoon is a city that's just starved for professional sports and having a Canadian Premier League team there in the summer, having a summer-based team because the National Lacrosse League plays in the winter, to have a summer-based team there would be absolutely huge and they'd pretty much be the main sporting attraction in that city in the summer. Now on my list cities, five, six, and seven all have something in common and you're going to figure out what that is pretty quickly. Number five, I have Laval, Quebec. Laval is a suburb of Montreal. And with that means that you're right in a high population density area. Laval itself has a population of 423,000 people. And then that does not, of course, count the surrounding areas around it and the fact that the Montreal area has millions of people there. Laval has had some major sports teams in recent years. They were the home of the Canadian Women Hockey League's team, Le Canadien de Montreal, and the Montreal Canadiens AHL affiliate. So, they are having some hockey teams there, and the real question about Laval is can the suburbs support a soccer team, and can a soccer team survive in the Montreal Impact's backyard? And I think the answer to that question depends entirely on how the team is marketed, because right now 
The Canadian Premier League does have a suburb team. They have York 9, who's playing in Toronto FC's backyard, and they are not doing very well at all, but there's a lot of criticism to the way that York 9 has marketed and just their location in general, and really, that team just does not have the tools set up to succeed going into the season. Hopefully they fix it going forward, but for this season, they did not have the tools to succeed. If a team in Laval looks at the mistakes that York 9 made, I think that they very well could succeed if they play in a easily accessible area to a lot of the citizens of Laval and really brand themselves as Laval's team. I believe that they could do quite well and maybe not be a major like top billing CPL team, but they could survive pretty well. The sixth city on my list is Mississauga. Mississauga, again, a lot of the same questions as Laval. Can a team survive in the suburbs? Can they survive in an MLS team's shadow? And also, can they survive in the shadow of, an, of another previously made CPL team? Heck, two previously existing CPL teams of Hamilton on one side and York Nine on the other, and then you have TFC right there. It's a very crowded area for soccer. But the thing about the greater Toronto area is that the population is just ginormous and large enough to support multiple teams in theory. Mississauga itself has a population of 720,000 people. That is bigger than any of the other places on this list except for Ottawa. And bigger than many places that currently have Canadian Premier League teams. So again, the ability for a team to survive here completely goes down to its marketability and their approach to it. Mississauga right now is having a pretty good transit infrastructure being built. They're building an LRT line. If you could get your stadium or your soccer arena somewhere close to that, you have potential to really be able to capture a lot of people coming to your games and just be easily accessible to a lot of people. Again, they can't fall into the York 9 trap of not being accessible to the people you're trying to market your team to. But I think Mississauga just is a more condensed area and has a greater potential for success than York Region. And as for the soccer appetite in Mississauga, they are currently home to the Mississauga Metro Stars of the Major Arena Soccer League. And that team averaged over a thousand fans a game playing arena soccer at the Paramount Fine Food Center and they were 4-20 and 20 throughout the season, so a not very good team averaging over a thousand fans a game for arena soccer. You could prorate that maybe to a full-fledged soccer field, but if an arena soccer team, a sport that most people don't even know exists, can average over a thousand fans a game, you have the feeling that a actual traditional soccer team in Mississauga could succeed. And the seventh and last place that I think the top flight of the Canadian Premier League should expand to is Surrey, British Columbia. Again, Surrey, exact same deal as Mississauga and Laval. A suburb of Vancouver, a city that already has a MLS team. I'm not going to lie, I don't know very much about Vancouver or Vancouver suburbs, but Surrey I know has a population of 518,000. So again, this is going to come down to how the team's marketed and this basically the same thing that I was saying for Mississauga and Laval. Basically all three of those teams fall into the same boat is they need to get it right. If they market the team right, if they put the stadium in the right location, if things fall into place for them, they can be very, very successful. If not, they'll be able to survive probably, but they won't be able to thrive. A team in Surrey, especially with how the White Caps recently have not been very good, they've been frustrating their fans, they sold Alfonso Davies and then did basically nothing with the $20 million they got for him. At putting a team right in the Vancouver area right now, you have the possibility to get those soccer fans who are frustrated by the White Caps currently to come over and watch some Canadian Premier League soccer, especially if the team's good. And on top of that, you get a rivalry with Pacific FC, who will stake their claim as being the first BC Canadian Premier League team. So I think the time is right for a team to be put in Surrey right now, but if they wait too long and the Canadian Premier League doesn't expand there until after the Whitecaps 
basically figure it out and get good again, then you risk the possibility of not being able to convert frustrated white cat stands over to Surrey fans. And just that right there could be the make or break for a team being able to survive in this suburb. And that does it for the seven places that I think the Canadian Premier League should expand to. But I said I'd put a bonus for what I think a good second flight example city would be. And my pick for that is Moncton, New Brunswick. Moncton has a population of 72,000. No professional sports teams, obviously, but they do have a QMJHL team. Again, a lot like Halifax or Quebec City. QMJHL team, no professional teams. However, the population is only about a fifth of the size of either of those places. So, well, I don't think the population right now is big enough to support a Canadian Premier League team. Once the league gets bigger and like you really start to grip national attention coast to coast to this league, don't you think that it would be awesome to have a team in like a small place like Moncton, just like a team that like you can get an entire town or an entire small city behind. And this is a city where like you think that the people there have probably never thought that they could possibly get a professional sports team in that city. So if you dropped a Canadian Premier League team there, they would flock to it. It would be the biggest thing in town, hands down, especially if you make the Canadian Premier League into a just decent league. And right now, that's already started with the Calgary Cavalry beating Vancouver in the Canadian Championship. You get some Canadian Championship results, you get some CONCACAF League results, possibly get teams in the CONCACAF Champions League. You make a name for the Canadian Premier League, and then you can drop teams into these cities of like 75 to 100,000 people in a second division and say, you can get there. And that would just be huge for these cities. The teams would probably succeed. And there's just so much potential right now for what this league could be and what this league system could be if there are, in fact, multiple tiers to the Canadian Premier League system once expansion is all said and done. And I'm very excited to see what happens. And I hope we can get to a point where promotion relegation is a thing as soon as possible. So yeah, that does it for this video. That's where I think the Canadian Premier League should expand to. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more of my stuff, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I'll put the link down below in the description, and I'll see you next time.